hello and welcome. Today we're at Fauquier Education Farm. We're here with Mr. Jim Hankins, the executive director of the farm. Jim, thanks for letting us come out today. We are going to be talking about summer squash. Now, I love to eat summer squash. I love all the zucchini squash. Is it a good, though, uh, garden crop for the home gardener? Oh, absolutely. You know, even the most inexperienced gardener can be successful at summer squash. There's just a few little things that you need to know. It's one of our staple, you know, really important crops. Okay. Um, summer squash come and go pretty quickly. Okay. Meaning that, you know, I can put them in. It's not going to last me the whole summer long. Right, right. You know, I mean, it's incredibly easy to keep planting a few more plants, you know. I do multiple plantings about three weeks apart to stay in production all the way into October. Oh, okay. So you're planting, so that kind of keeps you away from the bugs? If bugs or disease problems find you? Yes. Anybody who has planted summer squash knows about squash bugs and squash vine borers. Okay. And yes, I could try to control with pesticide but it would take an awful lot of pesticide. The easier, more earth-friendly way to do it by planting a few more plants every three weeks, I get these plants in full production before the bugs start causing some problems. Then I wanna take the plants that are disease-ridden and take them out of the garden, but like I said, and and you know, squash seeds are great big seeds. Okay. Any three-year-old child can push them a half inch deep in the soil. You don't have to buy seedlings. You, okay. you know, direct seeding works really well. Okay, so you can keep everything going just by putting seeds in the ground directly? Don't have to buy transplants, which might be hard to find later on the season. Absolutely, and you know, one thing that you do want to do, you don't want to put the new one right next to the one that's already got a lot of squash bugs. You want to put it a little farther away. Um, paying attention to what varieties you're using. Okay. You know, buying the cheapest seeds will give you the cheapest variety or the cheapest results. Right. There are really, really good varieties out there. Some great hybrids. Right. You know, um, it's a wonder. I'm like you. I eat an awful lot of squash during the summer. It's great. I've talked to home gardeners before and they'll tell me things like, you know, it seems like my, it, my plant just stopped producing fruit. Any tips for them to help, that they might help, help them? One thing that's really important is that you need to keep the fruit picked. Whenever you're allowing your zucchinis to make those great big 40 pound, you know, monsters that nobody wants, that plant has done what it needs to do. It's made mature seeds, so it'll start shutting down. So even if you can't give it away, pick the fruit as you know at the right stage rather than letting it get big. Okay. Um, it's got to have full sun, okay. full sun, um, and they like a bit of water on the really you know on the dry days. You'll see the leaves wilt a little bit when it gets over 95 degrees. Right. That doesn't mean the plant is dead. You know, they'll wilt even with a lot of watering. You know, it's just heat stress. You gotcha. Well, overall, it sounds like a great plant for the home gardener to grow. And uh, you've really got some great examples here, some really nice varieties. Yep. Uh, looks wonderful, Jim. Thanks for, again for letting us come out today. Absolutely. Well, for more information about growing summer squash, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.